Erwin Schrödinger Austrian theoretical physicist Erwin Rudolf Joseph Alexander Schrödinger was born on August 12, 1887 to Rudolf Schrödinger and Emily Bauer in Vienna. Both sides of the family share a keen interest in the natural sciences. Erwin's father, owner of an oil cloth factory, was particularly interested in botany, which he pursues scientifically later in his life. The maternal grandfather was a professor of chemical technology at the Imperial Royal Technical University of Vienna. His predilection and skill in disseminating information in this way will be found in his grandson as well. Schrödinger entered the University of Vienna in 1906 and obtained his doctorate in 1910, upon which he accepted a research post at the university's second physics institute. He went to the University of Zurich in 1921, where he remained for the next six years. There, in a six-month period in 1926, he produced the papers that gave the foundations of quantum wave mechanics. In those papers he described his partial differential equation that is the basic equation of quantum mechanics and bears the same relation to the mechanics of the atom as Newton's equations of motion bear to planetary astronomy. The Schrödinger's equation describes the behavior of a system by a wave equation. Schrödinger explained that electrons move in terms of waves and not in particle leaps. The solutions to Schrödinger's equation are wave functions that can only be linked to the probable occurrence of physical events. Scientists incorporated the Schrödinger's equation in their own research and scientific work. In 1927, Schrödinger succeeded Max Planck, the inventor of the quantum hypothesis, at the Friedrich Wilhelm University in Berlin. He became part of a highly prestigious faculty, which included Albert Einstein, in Berlin. He stayed there until 1933, when he grew intolerant of and extremely opposed to Nazi Germany and wanted to move out of the country. He then took up a faculty position at Oxford University in England. Schrödinger's Cat The Schrödinger's Cat was a thought experiment he devised in 1935. The experiment illustrates a hypothetical cat locked in a steel box with an amount of a radioactive substance. Given that there is an equal probability of the atom in the substance to either decay or not decay, the cat may be simultaneously both alive and dead. The cat may be killed if the atom decays. But until the steel box is opened and the atom's wave function collapses, the probability stays equal. The simultaneous alive and dead state is called quantum superposition. He shared the 1933 Nobel Prize for Physics with British physicist P. A. M. Dirac. After working for three years at Oxford University, he traveled to and worked in different countries, such as Austria, Belgium, and Italy. In 1939, he accepted an invitation to head the School for Theoretical Physics at the Institute for Advanced Studies in Dublin, Ireland. He settled in Dublin until the mid-1950s. There he worked on studies in both physics and the philosophy of science. In 1944, he wrote What is Life? which is his attempt to demonstrate how quantum physics and genetics could be linked. His book has become a useful reference in molecular biology. In 1956, he retired and returned to Vienna, where he became a professor emeritus at his alma mater. After suffering a long illness, Schrödinger died on January 4, 1961, in Vienna. Personal Life In 1920, he married Anne-Marie Bertel as they were engaged in the previous year when Annie had come to Vienna to work as a secretary. Schrödinger had a liking for several women in his life, including the wife of his colleague Hilda March. His daughter Ruth Georgia Erica was born out of his wedlock with Hilda in Oxford, in 1934. In his years in Dublin he had two other daughters from two different Irish women. Notable quotes. If we were bees, ants, or Lacedaemonian warriors, to whom personal fear does not exist and cowardice is the most shameful thing in the world, warring would go on forever. But luckily we are only men, and cowards. The present is the only things that has no end. The scientist only imposes two things, namely truth and sincerity, imposes them upon himself and upon other scientists. If a man never contradicts himself, the reason must be that he virtually never says anything at all. Interesting facts. He received advanced degrees in habilitation, level after PhD degree, from several prestigious university programs and assisted some of the foremost scientists in his field. He is less well known for but still important in the study of color and colorimetry. His research and publications were used to develop the basis for probability interpretation, something he wishes he were not a part of. Two prestigious awards were named after him several years before his death, and his likeness appeared on an Austrian banknote for almost 15 years. A moon crater is named after him.